Hey, welcome back. So we're on Thursday, okay? And we've been using the angle-angle rule, side-side-side rule, side-angle-side rule, and this idea of parallel lines. We also bisect it a little bit. All I want to do today is recap. So it's a practice day. Proportions, proportions, proportions. If you don't like that word, think ratio. Ratio, ratio. You don't like that word. Scale factor, scale factor, scale factor. Okay? So, let's get started. Alright, because you're watching this video, all you need to do is pause the video, draw the shape, and then come right back, and then we'll do the problem. Okay? Um, dum dum. Hmm, spinning wheel. Okay, here we go. Similarity practice. Angle, angle. Side, side, side. Side, angle, side. Using proportions and ratios, find the missing link indicated. Okay? So let's get started. Up, down, left, right. You pick. Okay, as the teacher, they always taught us to go to the left. Oh, excuse me. Read from left to right. Okay? So I'm going to read from left to right. Okay, so let's grab a pen here, and I'm just going to set up this first proportion, okay? And I'm going to go question mark to the 16, S27 to the 12, okay? So, question mark to the 16, 27 to the 12, okay? So, question mark goes to 16 as... 27 goes to the 12. Okay, we can do that. Now, if you don't like that idea and you want to do triangle and a triangle, we have x 27 plus x 16 16 plus 12. This is a more accurate way to do the problem. So let's do it this way, okay? So x to the 16, 27 plus x, okay? So x goes to the 16 as 27 plus x goes to 28. All right. Now, what we've been practicing, this idea of cross-multiply. Okay, so 28 times x is equal to 16 times 27 plus the x. Okay, and now we have to distribute 16 times the 27 and 16 times the x. Well, I don't walk around with that number off the top of my head. So 28 times x is 28x. 16 times 27. 16 times 27 is 432. And then we distribute this 16 times the x. Okay? Now comes that math piece. Draw your line. Got to get all the numbers together. Got to get all the letters together. So the opposite of a negative is a plus. The opposite of a plus is a negative. So I have positive 16x. I'm going to subtract that across. Draw our line. We're happy. The 16 goes away. 28 minus the 16 gives us 12 of those x's. We still have the equals. And we still have the 432. Okay? So, opposite of multiply is divide. So we're going to divide both sides by 12. Divide both sides by 12. And lo and behold, our x is 36. Okay? So, partial credit, partial credit, partial credit, partial credit. Hey, by the way, did anybody do it this way? 12x equals 16 times 27, 4. 
32. Isn't that cool? You get the same answer. The distributive property of math. All right. Pause the video if you need to write that down. Let's head to our next problem. And remember, anytime you see the next problem, just pause the video, draw it out, and then come back and see how we did it. All right. So this represents the bisector rule. Anytime we bisect, we know that's in proportion and that's in proportion. Okay, we have similar triangles. So 15 goes to the 6 as 20 goes to, hmm, let's put a little x right there. And then when we come back to solve, we know that this is going to be 6 plus the x. Okay, all right. So we cross multiply and we get 15 x's is equal to 6 times 20. 15 x's equals 120. The opposite of multiply is divide. And what is that, 8? Okay, we are happy because 15 divided by 15 is 1. And x is 8. Now you're like, what? None of those work. 8 goes right here. Now the answer is 6 plus the 8. Okay, so whenever you have a multiple choice problem, look what they're asking. And sometimes they throw you a curve, like on this one. Okay, they were wanting the whole distance. So the answer is B. All right? Okay, got our spinning wheel back. <laughs> And then in a second, we're going to move on to another problem. Now remember, Mafia, try to do two short sessions or one long session, okay? So the whole thing, the whole thing, the whole thing, so the answer is B, all right? Okay, again, we look at the next problem, pause the video, then come back and we can discuss it, all right? So what I'm going to do in class is I'm just going to ask for volunteers, and we're going to pick a problem, okay? I'm going to pick a problem off of this page. It's going to be five, six, seven, or eight, okay? And since we're just doing a video here... Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Why don't we do the new stuff? Here's the new stuff, okay? We're trying to decide, is this indeed similar, okay? So the first thing I do is I'm going to say that I know 20 and 10 makes the 30, 12 and 6 makes the 18. Can you see the ratio? Can you see similar? All right. So Double, double, okay, double, double, and this angle belongs to both. So we have side, angle, side, okay? Now, if it's side, angle, side, and we have FED, FED, then it's FRS, okay? Just follow the flow, follow the flow, F. R, S, F, R, S. Okay? All right. Next one. You need to pause the video. Now, on this guy, we're going to have to set up all the proportions. Okay? So, short, short, medium, medium, large, large. So, let's just do it. 2891 to 28. 40, 143 to 44. And 48 to 156. Okay? 
So let's just do the math. Let's grab a calculator here and see if it works. 91 divided by 28 is 3.25, 143 divided by 44, 3.25, and I wrote that backwards. Oh, Monty, 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 Monty. One fifty six over forty eight. So this came out to three two five. This came out to three two five. And this one, one fifty six, goes to forty eight. Three two five. Side, side, side. Yes, yes, yes. L K J L K. So it went through the medium to the small. Went through the medium to the small. P Q R. All right. So that's what we're doing in class today. Depending on how much time we had left, uh, I wanted you to know that here's the actual answers. Okay. To today's work. And then you could check to see if you could make sense of them in case there were other ones you wanted to try. All right? So hopefully this was helpful. Make sure you do your session of Mafia. And we'll see you tomorrow, Friday in class. Bye.